Prophetic Messages from the Lord, 2nd of July, 2016. The first series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Lana Vosser. Title, I Heard the Seven Mountains Crying Out, Where Are the Josephs? July 1st, 2016. And she begins, The Lord has been speaking to me a lot lately about the seven mountains, and recently I had an encounter with Jesus, and he showed me the seven mountains crying out for the manifested sons and daughters of God to arise and take their place. It's time to arise and shine. Isaiah 60 verse 1. The positioning is happening from a deep place of intimacy and rest trust in him and doors were opening that were unimaginable and so glorious to position god's people to move into and further into these seven mountains of culture which were the arts and entertainment business family religion governments media education awaken to the truth that they are called as salt and light and releasing the glory and goodness of god wherever they are positioned as the lord is taking me deeper into his heart to see cities and nations transformed through influencing and taking the seven mountains for jesus i heard the seven mountains crying out where are the josephs instantly i was surrounded by the sense that many with a joseph like mantle and calling on upon their lives are hiding in caves because of the opposition and trial they have faced constantly and are weary and disillusioned about their mantle release into their destiny and positioning i saw others still in the pit process and waiting to be called for in the midst of process keeping their hearts positioned towards uh, towards the Lord, going deeper in intimacy and allowing the Lord to do the deep heart surgery, character, refining and building work within their hearts. There was such a purifying work taking place in the pit. They could recognize the work of the Holy of the work of the Spirit of God, and at that same time dreaming of the day of release and destiny. Awaken, awaken, a great move of awakening. I am awakening the Josephs. Over both of these areas, I saw the Spirit of God blowing powerfully, a mighty rushing wind, and as it was bl uh, and as it blew fiercely, I heard the words, Awaken, awaken, a great move of awakening. I am awakening the Josephs. For the past few years, 2012 and February 2016, the Lord has been highlighting the positioning of the Josephs to me, almost like the lead up and preparation for a great revealing. As I heard the seven mountains crying out, where are the Josephs? I was surrounded by the sense of the fullness of time has arrived for the Josephs to be delivered and positioned. Vindication is upon you. There has been a there has been an intense preparation over the Josephs, and that has been to mature you in intimacy with Jesus, to prepare, train, purify, and refine you, but you are now being called forth. Josephs, you are being released and increased. The pit you have been in is now turning to position your destiny and increase is about to manifest networks connections and open doors are open for you a strategic placing to release the word of the lord and divine wisdom and strategy to affect the nations your positioning in this season will see the move of the Spirit through you to affect cities and nations. There is an extension of tent pegs and spheres of influence opening up in this season for the Josephs to move in with their mouths full of truth. Where you have faced poison, you shall now see promotion. Where there has been intense attack where there has been venomous poison words, intense jealousy and lies of the enemy coming at you and the dreams the Lord has given you, the Lord is turning 
the tables. He has strengthened you and taught you how to fight using his word and broken off strongholds of the fear of men. He has taught you to keep your heart pure towards him and others in the assault. And he is now positioning you for great promotion. The very areas that these venomous poison words and lies hit is the very area the Lord is now positioning you in with great favor and promotion. Your roots have gone deep in Jesus in the pit, so you can stand tall, strong, mature, and with great integrity and character in the favor. This glory will shine brighter than ever through you than you have ever seen in this new positioning of promotion. Do not fear. The Lord is using you to open up a new page of destiny for individuals and nations. The Josephs will speak in this season with such truth and boldness and their words saturated in the love of Jesus with sharp accuracy of heavenly strategy that there will be great turnaround seen on increased levels in the seven mountains, from the grass roots to the top of the mountains. Everywhere the Spirit of God will move through these Josephs, there will be an activation for the destiny and dreams of individuals and nations awakened. Increase and momentous breakthrough is coming upon the Josephs personally and corporately in this season. You shall move forward with crowns of wisdom and heavenly strategy as you are positioned in places you never dreamed in this season. Positioned to release the strategy of heaven and see breakthrough. The Lord has been developing the revelation of the power of resting in him and the testing many of the Josephs have walked lately. They shall now see effectual doors and domino effects of breakthrough release through the Josephs as they minister. Do not run and hide. This is your time to shine. Do not run and hide. Stay positioned and watch the Lord position you to see the greatest move of his spirit through you that you have ever seen. You have been prepared for such a time as this. He is not only activating your destiny and bringing you out of the caves and the pits more awakened, more awake than you have ever been. He is restoring to you your dreams that have left long forgotten. Joseph, Joseph, you must take your place in this season as the, as the Lord opens doors for you. The seven mountains of culture are crying out for you to arise. Say yes to Jesus again and watch and see the beautiful positioning hand of God. More shall be added to you in the day of obedience to him than you have ever seen. You're being called for in this season. You are being called for in this season. It's time to step in as the voices of hope, but not only position as those voices of hope, but those who release hope and strategy. Your area of influence is about to turn its head to you because of the wisdom and strategy of heaven upon you to bring life and breakthrough to that very mountain. From the grass roots to the top of the mountain, he is using you to reroute and change history and release destiny. The media mountain is calling for you, Josephs. I saw specifically the media mountain, the media mountain calling for the Josephs. The Lord is sending you into the media mountain in this season to release a great move of his spirit to see the communication of heaven released. The prophetic is moving into the media mountain in explosive and increased ways in this season through the Josephs and many other ways to release the, strat the strategic revelation of heaven that will see the media mountain effect and change by the revelation of God who speaks. Our beautiful, creative, powerful, all-knowing Jesus will speak life 
revelation, insight, and wisdom through his Josephs in the Median Mountain in this season that will see unprecedented signs, wonders, turnarounds take place where the good news of the gospel and goodness of God is going to be communicated in new, fresh, and creative ways. The next prophetic message. Pioneers, it's time to rise and fly. The winds of favor have increased in speed. June 30th, 2016. This morning, the Lord was highlighting pioneers to me again. The pioneers have had a rough time this past 12 to 24 months. There has been such an intense fire on the pioneers, and the Lord has given me various words about their sudden breakthrough this year. Today, I kept hearing the words, Pioneers, it's time to rise and fly. The winds of favor have increased in speed. The Lord began to show me the pioneers who are plowing the ground with new vision, forerunning in the new things God is doing across the earth and in the body of Christ. I watched as the pioneers were all put in a place labeled in over my head. There was a strategic placing right now of the pioneers in the vision and the words that the Lord has given them that has placed them in over their head. Like there is no way in the natural that what the Lord has shown them to do and plow can be done. It seems completely impossible. Lion of Judah was roaring over the pioneers. I then saw the Lion of Judah coming swiftly and roaring over the pioneers. Instantly, I saw things happening everywhere. There was vindication from heaven of the message and vision that they had been carrying from years and years ago to recent impartations of new visions. The roaring of the Lion of Judah over them was bringing a loud confirmation and demonstration of the hand of God upon them and what they carry. The Lord was moving to consolidate or to make strong the pioneers and what they have been called by the Lord to do and forerun. Public vindication is upon the pioneers. The winds of favor picked up speed dramatically. The winds of favor that were blowing were like the strength of hurricanes, but instead of destroying anything, these winds were adding strength, acceleration, and increase to all that the pioneers were planting by the leading of the Spirit. All these hurricane-like winds of favor were blowing strongly, and I could hear the song playing from the children's movie Aladdin all around. It reminded me of a word the Lord gave me last year that we were in the season of a whole new world. In this, vi in this vision, the song played loudly. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go or, say we're not that, or to say we're only dreaming. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. But now from way up here, it's crystal clear that I'm that now I'm in a whole new world with you. Unbelievable sights, indescribable feelings, soaring, tumbling, freewheeling through an endless diamond sky, a whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. A hundred thousand things to see. Hold your breath. It's, uh, it gets better. I'm like a shooting star. I've come so far. I can't go back to where I used to be. A whole new world with new horizons to pursue. I'll chase them anywhere. There's time to spare. Let me share this whole new world with you. The Lord is taking the pioneers into a whole new world, a new world of clarity, a whole new world of horizons to pursue, a whole new world of no limitations, a whole new realm of dreaming big and bigger as the winds of favor blow strongly upon the already planted and plowing visions he has given, but he's about to breathe on visions that are completely new. These new visions and walking in them is going to usher in a whole new level of joy. Pioneers, where you have cried tears and have been mourning, you are now entering a new morning full of joy and tears of joy of what the awakening to what the Lord has done in you and the new move you are beginning and are about to, to see him do through you. It's new. It's new, new, new. Pioneers, you are birthing the new. In this whole new world, 
I saw the Lord breathing upon new visions. These new visions will carry the same DNA, but will be released with a completely different flavor and expression. Do not shy away from the new visions from heaven and uh, and implementing them because they have a new flavor and new expression. You are birthing the new and the Lord is going to see it through. There is going to be provision for the vision on a level you'll never envisioned. You've never envisioned. I saw stream after stream of provision coming into the lives of the pioneers as they continue to follow the prompting of the Holy Spirit. I watched these streams of provision and I saw the Lord releasing provision of streams that the pioneers had faith for. But then I saw stream after stream after stream of increase. Other streams the pioneers hadn't even dreamed of or imagined. Ephesians 3 verse 20. There would be so much there would be so much provision for the vision the banks of generosity and abundance are being broken over and through the lives of the pioneers to resources others to resource others and the world i saw the pioneers moving out into the world with such abundance and increase that the spirit of generosity that is the heart of god was being released in material ways all throughout the world marking the world with goodness of a good father that loves to lavish his goodness upon his creation his heart of generosity was being shouted loudly in the world i am connecting a huge net of pioneers in this vision, I saw the hand of beautiful Jesus connecting the pioneers. Right now, he is doing a great move in unity and networking and connecting his pioneers. You are not alone. You are not alone in your vision. You are not alone in what the Lord has asked you to do and the grounds you are plowing that are completely new and some paths some have never been before. The Lord has been with you, strengthening you, leading you, helping you, and he is sending help. He is going to bring strategic people into your life with resources, wisdom, insights, right heart motives, and vision to stand with you and see a greater acceleration to the vision he has given you released. I watched in this net as Jesus connected this huge net of pioneers all across the world and as I was and as I was watching him connect them I could hear him singing it's for the great harvest it's for the great harvest the great connecting of the pioneers is being set up and established and put in place for the harvest brothers and sisters in Christ linking arms now divine connected in love and about to see the greatest harvest in this world like they have never seen before. Pioneer prophets, you are being placed. I then felt Jesus releasing an encouragement for the pioneer prophets. Pioneer prophets, as you have continued to lead my people, as you have been faithfully calling the time, calling out the times and the seasons for the body of Christ, Get ready for the greatest placing of your life. Get ready for the greatest pl placing of your life. I am about to place you in positions that will help you understand the pit you have been walking through. You are about to be placed in the perfect place, a place of great favor, responsibility, and open doors to, de to declare my word. And through you, there will be a release of my spirit to birth the new to birth the new day, to birth the change of the season, to birth the new strategies of heaven, birth out of my word, to birth the new wisdom of heaven from the foundation of my promises, to see an accelerated level of breakthrough for you and those that you minister to. Pioneer prophets, where you have felt like you have been hit hard in this last season, you are now moving into a greater level of grace and anointing. I am moving you into a new level of ease, a new level of understanding, the mantle and anointing over you, but at the same time, as you steward the favor and breakthrough from living deeply in the place of intimacy and in the bridal chamber, I am releasing an increase of fire upon your mantle to take you to a whole new level. Pioneer Prophets, you are taking your seat. You are taking your seat. I am, con I am concreting and solidifying publicly in your heart 
what you are called to do. The vision I have given you and a mantle upon you. I, the Lord, your God, am vindicating you. A whole new realm of authority is being awakened within you, and it will see the greatest move of my spirit through you as you steward it from the place of intimacy, purity, integrity, and expectancy. Your greatest days are upon you now, pioneer, pioneer prophets. Your time has arrived. Look at the time. It's the fullness of time. The title of the next message, Overnight Opportunities and a Whole New Realm of Sensitivity to His Spirit, June 28, 2016. The Lord has been speaking to me a lot about this season of acceleration and suddenlies and recently spoke to me and said, Lana, this is the season as my people press in will go to bed one night and wake up the next morning and everything is different. Today, as I sat with the Lord, he reminded me of this and I kept hearing the words, overnight opportunities. Do not lose your hope. Do not lose your faith in his promises for the Lord is releasing overnight opportunities that will change everything. One encounter with him, one email, one network, one phone call, one open door, one miracle, one meeting, one dream, one vision will change everything. Whatever vehicle it comes in, overnight life-changing opportunities are coming to God's people from the one who is all-powerful. As I saw these overnight opportunities being released, I saw in the heart of every opportunity was the word catapult. These overnight opportunities are not only going to see a complete change and turnaround, your life will be filled with first fruits and radical increase and in breakthrough all around you. These overnight opportunities are releasing the divine domino effect of breakthrough, open doors, and favor and provision. I decree over you today as you go deeper into his heart, he is releasing overnight opportunities into your life that will see your look one way, then you will go to bed one night, and you will wake up the next morning and life looks completely different as the sounds of life, provision, breakthrough, favor, and increase explode all around. A new level of sensitivity to his spirit. I saw encounters with Jesus happening all across the body of Christ at a deep, deep level. I watched in this vision as I saw Jesus peeling back walls of hardness of heart numbness from wound, woundings and disappointments, healing past hurts, healing and breaking fears of stepping out, vulnerability and doubt. He is breaking down the walls with his love to expose the heart, to bring healing to the hearts of his people. Any hardness of heart is melting away and he is leading us into a deeper level of sensitivity and openness to his spirit. Get ready for your five senses to be heightened to his leading and hearing his voice as you press into intimacy with him. As I watched the Lord increasing this sensitivity and awareness, I heard a warning in the spirit to guard the sensitivity that he is bringing you into by watching very carefully what you allow into your heart. What you allow your eyes to see, what you allow your ears to hear, what you allow to fill your mind. Then recently, as I was waking from a dream, I heard the song playing in my head. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little eyes, little eyes, what you see. He is taking the prophetic to a whole new level in this season, and it must be stewarded with purity. Get ready for great increase in your sensitivity. Ask him for more. A new adventure is upon you for hearing the heart of your father and following his leading. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Ellen. And it begins, Daily Prophetic Word, July 1st, 2016. The father says, When people appear to wish for your harm, and not your blessing. Do not let that hurt and anger sink into your soul. Continue to hold your head up high, knowing that your Father in heaven has you in the palm of his hand. Nothing will I allow to reach your borders 
with ill will or malice. Forgive and forget these transgressions against you, as you learn to walk in a light and love. I will be able to use you even to bring your enemies to my holiness. You hold the keys that the enemy of your soul is desperate to stop. Through your heart, through your heart is his only true weapon against you. Pay close attention to the reason beyond beyond all reasons why you are experiencing these attacks. The emotions that are being stirred up are the ones you will need to master under your complete control and authority. Make no mistake that others will take notice of how you handle these situations. Let your testimony rise high in the heavens. No good ever comes when your emotions lead you around like a brittled horse. These issues that you are under are mere smoke screens to keep your mind and will off of the areas that are really important. If you fall into every pitfall and snare from the enemy, you will lose the traction and ground you are meant to occupy. Many areas of your life will scream and look like the most vital aspects to deal with, but are they really? Many storms go away all on their own, just as quickly as they appear on the horizon. Do not walk in foolish notions. They hate you because they, they have hated me first. Even what is hidden is more visible than you realize. Brush off the negative words spoken, for you are not defined by your enemies. I am your creator. What I say about you is the only truth you are to be in, for this is where I can use you, submitted and yielded to me alone. Feelings are fickle. Just as the winds blow against you today, they will surely shift towards another tomorrow. Spend your energy on things that are everlasting for my name's sake. Do not get drawn into conflict that will do you no good in reality, for this too shall pass. The title of the next message, Daily Prophetic Word, July 2nd, 2016. The Father says, I put my spirits within you. Sure, you have heard this before, but have you let it sink into your very being yet? There is no part of your day that I am not right there with you. What you desire to see in fullness is what you will see. When you believe I am off somewhere far, far away, you will act and react to your world that way as well. Instead, see me as a God who actively is helping you and ready to listen to you about your happy moments just as much as your disappointments. I am a very present help and comfort in times of trouble. You do not have to sign a petition to force me to spend time with you. No, my child. There is nowhere else I would rather be than with you. I accept you the way that you are. Are you listening? I know you better than you know yourself. I am not merely tolerating you until someday in the future when you have arrived to the completion of who I have created you to be. I am enjoying the journey that you are on and not just looking at the final destination. Decide to see yourself this way as well. You are simply on a journey and I will make it worth the trip. Find within yourself the understanding that people need what you have deep inside of you. Let me push away what is keeping those gems and, and treasure hidden. Layered within is the center of your purpose while you are here on earth. It is time for full self discovery, even if you think you have uncovered all that there is to know. I have so much more to show you. Your days are overflowing with my goodness and new exploits at every turn. I have not called you to live a life of boring routines. I want you to soar from glory to glory in all things. It is time to decide if you want to live so-so or extraordinary. I, I will not make you live the life that I have written out in the blueprints of your life. I am wooing you into my arms this very day. Forget the regrets of yesterday. Now is your time for greatness. Now is your time to walk in what I have destined for you at the very foundations. You are not a mistake or accident. I thought of you and breathed you into existence. Do not look at your life with hatred. I love you so very much. 
I will come through for you. The dark will always leave in the presence of my light. Let's walk this day out together and just watch as all is turned around for you this very hour. Your latter days will be greater than your former. Trust me. The title of the next prophetic message, Daily Prophetic Word, June 30th, 2016. The Father says, In a world of harsh speech at one another, I say be one who gives a soft answer instead, for wrath will diminish when you choose to rise above the words meant to cause strife. Guard your heart and mind, for the enemy longs to, to use these types of distractions, or these interactions, to take you out of righteousness. Let your heart remain pure in your dealings with people new and old to you. I desire to grow you stronger for my name's sake. Some interactions are meant to test your ability to see beyond this moment and into my heart for that person. See yourself as my ambassador in a world of hostile and friendly fire. There are times to turn away and times to turn towards a situation. I will guide you and direct, for I have plans for the good when you least expect that I might be at work. Be someone that others can approach, for that light within you is something that will surely draw those in from the struggles of life. Let me turn that light up even brighter. Be ready for me to take you up to a new level of kingdom assignments. Even the smallest jobs is one that establishes a new line for the enemy to try and cross. You are one who can and will push back the darkness. You are advancing territories and regions just by how you respond to people throughout your day. The Christian walk was not meant to be hard to do. Let me be your pilot and you just keep on the lookout for places that need what you are equipped for. I will use you in ways you didn't even know you were able to affect. In my hands, all things are possible. You can do more through a smile than all the weapons against you could potentially damage. I created your beautiful heart. I want the world to see just how loving your spirit is with me in your life. The walls that held you back are crumbling in this hour. The shofar has been blown. Change is rapidly taking place. The now that you have been waiting for and the suddenlies you have been anticipated are walking straight to you. No more delay. No more wondering when. The title of the next message, Daily Prophetic Word, June 29, 2016. The Father says, A feather floats gently back to earth, landing just the same as it started. It may appear to land in a random place, but in reality, my winds guide it to that precise location. I want you to see yourself as that feather. You are not falling. You are merely gently floating to the exact spot that I desire you to find. There is no hard falling. There is no hard fall or crashing down, breaking you into pieces. Choose to see failures as a time to not give up, for it is in the not giving up that truly makes you a success and not a failure. There are times that I will not allow you to hit the target you set out for. Know that I have better targets for you to hit. And this one is a distraction that if you did hit, you would be out of my divine will for your life. Do not be so hard on yourself. Even in your attempts without me, I will still pull you back like an arrow and send you out. I may not send you where you thought, but I will make it worth the ride. Do not blame the wind for your missing. Check again. Are you sure you missed at all? Where you are is where I will open the doors that are hidden behind the veil. You cannot hit a target that you didn't see or know was there, but I can. I will not take my hands off of you. Make the decision that are vibing for your time and I will open and close roads until you are at the right spot. And maturity will lead you to believe that you are denied or that I am not for you. Look again. Ask me why here. Then I will come to you and speak mysteries that you have never even known to ponder. You are no small potato. 
How do you grow a potato? You take parts of or the whole potato and place it into the ground. Your identity is whole in me. It does not matter what others have felt or said about you. When I send you to a region, I will plant parts of or the wholeness of you in that area for my namesake. You are not merely planting a seed and walking away. You know you are a direct result and impact of what I would do for the people you touch. Do not allow your heart to go rotten in the seasons of challenge. The climate may change, but I am able to keep you growing healthy plants, even when others are withering and dying. You are not subject to anything out of my glory. Do not let fear encapsulate your actions. I will watch and keep your ways. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Glinda Linkus. First one she received was on Friday, July 1st, 2016. Title, Purity. Purify your hearts before me. Purge your thoughts of all that you know does not please me, that I may bless you more. Great and mighty blessings lie in store for those who will do this. Supporting scriptures, 1 Kings 18, verse 21, 1 Timothy 6, verse 12 through 16, and James 4, verse 8. The title of the next message, Changes Ahead, Thursday, June 30th, 2016. Positions and posts are changing and great change is just ahead for my people far and wide. Great change is on the horizon and you shall soon see what it is. My children shall delight in all I will show them this year. But the wicked shall feel my wrath as the edge of it begin to encroach upon their lives. Keep your hands clean and your minds pure from all sin, my children. Supporting scripture, James chapter 4, verse 7 through 9, and Psalms 19, verse 14. The title of the next message, Missing Out, Wednesday, June 29, 2016. Some of my children are missing out in this season of renewal and restoration. You refuse to believe I can renew your youth, restore that lost relationship, bestow that promotion, or bring you an entirely new job. Where is your faith, my children? How is it you have no faith in such a great and mighty God as I am? Supporting scriptures, Matthew chapter 9, verse 29, and Luke 1, verse 37. The title of the next message signs saturday july 2nd 2016 and it begins the signs of my soon return are all around you yet so many refuse to see they choose ignorance over anxiety but this is not to be their benefit for it shall happen and they will not be ready do not be deceived that this is not so my children i am coming back soon Supporting scriptures, John 3, verse 16 through 19. Matthew 25, verse 1 through 13. The next prophetic message comes from a sister by the name of Julie. Title, Vision of the Statue of Liberty Swallowed by Tidal Waves and My Bride Steps into Immortality. Wednesday, June 29, 2016. This morning, June 29, 2016, upon waking, I was given a vision. I saw the Statue of Liberty in the United States being overtaken suddenly by tidal waves. Everywhere around the statue was underwater. The waves came fast and engulfed her until she was out of sight. I saw, I also saw types of containers and the word cisterns came to mind. They were man-made, placed all over the world and filled with water representing the power and strength that man feels he has built for himself. These cisterns were cracking, pieces dropping to the ground as their substance poured out, then disintegrated completely. From the throne of God, Father then showed me living water being poured out like never before in great measure while he smiled upon his remnant. remnant. These living water, this living water is radically transforming his remnants into a glorified people, 
each one receiving a beautiful crystal-like pitcher of this living water that is poured in and through the bride member, and then from there onto all who they minister to. This living water is actually made up of millions of tiny jewels, radiant and brilliant and intricately designed, treasures beyond measure from the kingdom of heaven for this time of now. And with this outpouring, his bride is illuminated and appears transparent. Word from Yeshua that followed. It is I, dear one, the lamb that was slain. Now come as the roaring lion. It is I, your redeemer, he who ever lives to intercede for you and for all men. It is I, the supreme king and counselor to all. Hear me, sweet child, as I desire your focus to be acute and your perception sharp. A great and mighty outpouring is upon my people. Kingdoms and nations, once mighty and powerful, will fall, as they are not built on my foundations, but they are built on the greed, lust, and idolatry of man and his pride. I announce this day, open wide your arms, my chosen ones, reach heavenward, and lift your eyes to your king, his majesty. It brings great joy to me and to my Father, and all of heaven gathers for this great and glorious outpouring reserved for this time of now. This is your latter day outpouring, and this that I bestow upon you serves to draw many, many of the lost to me so we may then usher in the new kingdom upon this earth. I have been preparing a set-apart people, a sanctified assembly, a holy pe people to carry out my mandates. Anchoring them here in this place as the systems of this world crumble. Hold fast, my people, to all I have taught you and my laws which have been written upon your hearts. My true remnant church know who they are. To the world they are no one. They are the homeless, the downtrodden, the persecuted, and the outcasts. They are my shut away ones, the ones who the world shuns, and the ones overlooked. Many of my bride... Many of my true bride are the homemakers, the lowly in the world's eyes, those doing jobs and tasks that the proud would never consider doing. These are the ones closest to my heart because they are pure in hearts, because every simple and small task they perform is for my glory and to advance my kingdom. These contrite and humble ones do not seek recognition here, but rest in the knowing that they have the highest honor in my kingdom because they have given me their all. These ones are the passionately weak ones from my fire burns hotly within them and they are violently desperate for me and me alone. Truly I tell you, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. To you, my loves, my precious jewels, I have brought you out of the world to bring you into my heart. You have been patient and long-suffering for so long. I say to you, now arise. Rise and stretch forth your arms to receive the glorious latter-day rain outpouring as I outpouring I have reserved for you for this time. I am ready to cause you to work great and mighty exploits in my name. Much, much chaos now ensues. You who walk in complete faith and trust in me shall not be shaken, nor shall you be moved. As the world succumbs to the recompense due her because of her gross sin, my shining ones rise to glory, your faces transforming to mine and, and the shining one radiating the unconditional love of a father for his children. You will transcend this realm and all its earthly boundaries and limitations, stepping into immortality while yet still here in this realm. This is a mystery that my bride understands, and she has taken my wisdom into her heart and has ready herself and my vessels, her bodies as, they, as my sanctuaries. Prepare to receive unto me the lost and the inconsolable, the broken and the battered. My love through you is the healing balm they require and the only remedy for the pain they will experience due to all I release in judgment upon the earth. Salvation will be nearer to, those, to these ones suffering than it ever was before. Give them my heart. So great a gift, so simple a message to bring them. 
Unconditional love is and always has been the saving life force along with the gift that my blood sacrifice offers and its redeeming power. Profound, truly, and all-encompassing. Ready yourselves, my army. Ready yourselves. The time is come. Yeshua. Supporting scriptures. Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. Joel 2, verse 23. Hosea 6 verse 3, James 5 verse 7, Hebrews 8 verse 10, Psalms 4 verse 3, Joshua 3 verse 5, uh, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 27, Matthew 5 verse 5 through 8, and many, many more. The next prophetic message is received by Sister Diana on 30th of June 2016, and she received this word after praying uh, for the lost people around the world and for praying for the for our, our for our families and for our friends and for those who are still walking in the ways of ungodliness. She was praying a prayer for the salvation of them and that the Lord would give the right strategy that is needed in this season to save their lives. And at the end of her praying, the Lord has has given her this message. And it begins, Darling, good fortune for all that you have prayed for will be bestowed onto them. Good fortune, my child. Help will be granted, protection afforded, and things of the Spirit given onto them to move them onto areas of protection. My child, you know and understand the times we are in and movement of people at this late hour is physically impossible to be done. But through me, all things are possible. Through me, my love, all things are possible. Let, it says, let down not your faith in me or in my power, for it shall be so, my love. Watch and see what I will do with the prayers that you have given so strongly this day. My worship upon their lips, you will hear in the near future. Prayers to me from this, um, from their being, their hearts, you will see and know about. My love, it will be so. Hold on to the words I have afforded you this day, the ones that offer hope and kindness to those in need. My child, many can be granted and bestowed these things as well, for the fervent prayers of the righteous will avail much and open doors for them. Keep praying, my saints, for the people around you in and through your lives, for they are in need of a savior, in need of rescuing. I shall grant heartfelt requests onto the throne. My father hears them. I hear them. All of heaven hears them. We join in agreements with those prayers, my children, and where any two are gathered and are together in my name there i am in the midst my working hand among my working hand among me falter not now my children remain steadfast and focus upon those i have placed in your lives hearts and minds for they need prayer they need lifting up before father's throne please pray for them intercede for them stand in a gap for them my children repent for them offer praise for them Many do not know the detail and intricate plans of the enemy, but I have given you power to thwart those plans, to, to cancel their assignments, and placing those prayed for back into protection. Pull out the sword and yield it, piercing the joints and the marrow, for it is time for my words to be used in battle. Select your swords, my children, each one different for a different fight. My words have power and you can stand upon them as a foundation within them for protection. Yield them in battle and rest in them in comfort. They are provided for you. They are for your use. Speak them forth with, your, with great authority in my name and all shall come to pass. Quickly now, my children, gather onto yourselves the spears, the arrows, the swords, the shields. Ensure their placement about you is readily available and stand firm in your faith in me. For I am your shield and your buckler. I am your protector and high tower i am your rear guard and your leader i am hearing this again this is a side note now she says i am hearing this again one for all and all for one this is the second time i have heard that end of message supporting scriptures romans chapter 10 verse 13 matthew chapter 19 verse 26 james 5 verse 16 first john 5 verse 14 matthew 18 verse 20 ezekiel 22 verse 30 joe 5 verse 12 ephesians 6 verse 10 through 17 and many many more supporting scriptures the next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Barb and a title to her message, Shooting Arrows for the Enemy. And it begins, My daughter, write my words for those with ears to hear. You know you are in a palm of my hand, my children, no matter what roadblock or confusion the enemy puts in your path. Seek my face and I will comfort you and bring you peace. You see, I realize you are in a generation bombarded constantly with the sounds and imagery of the enemy. The lost see these things as normal and are tantalized by them. My children, 
See these things for what they are, filthy distractions and snares set for those who are weak and unknowledgeable. Those that, that try to satisfy themselves with this world will end up empty. Those that lose me in the depth of their searching for me must take a step back. Look at me, look at my face, and look at my pure and simple gospel. Yes, I created you with a passion for learning and solving my mysteries, but when these mysteries become idols and distract you from our relationship, I will no longer bless you in your quest for answers. Put me first, my children, and when our relationship is solid, you will receive the answers you seek. Allow certain things to remain mysteries. Not everything is meant to be understood at this time. Point in time. When seeking my heart becomes your number one priority, all other things will fall into place. Seek me now and all seek me now and all day every day. Receive my love and my peace. I love you, my children. Allow yourself to be treated as such. Come in from the from the cold. If you have been avoiding me, I have open arms to embrace you. If you are just going through the motions, be still and let me reignite my fire within your heart. Let, lift one another up now and do not break each other's hearts. Be careful to seek me in all things and do not let your fleshy pride rule your words. Condemn no one, but simply pray for them. Love one another and don't fire the enemy's arrows for him. The next prophetic message comes from a brother by the name of Swift Passage, June 29, 2016. And the title is, Word from the Lord, the Coming King. And it begins, My son, the trumpet sound is very near. Stay encouraged and uplifted, my son. You are of sound mind. I know, I created you. My son, tell all believers to stay in encouragement of my soon return. My son, remember I knew of you before you knew yourself. My son, man has a way of putting down my children that know and love me. Let us all be excited, for this day is upon thee. The wicked won't escape my father's wrath. My son, they will run and hide in the bunkers, but there will be no escape for the wicked. See, I know your ways and the ways of others, but my ways are, high, are higher than all. See, I am the great I am, creator of all things. Tell them, my son, to stay focused on me the redemption draws nigh and this concludes the transcripted part of our uh, prophetic messages from the Lord um, there are additional scriptures and uh, prophetic messages that has been uh, spoken um, as always you can go to the transcripted uh, notes on the blogger page and get more of the information and the links that will lead you to get more information of the word of the Lord. I want to thank you all for listening and may God continue to bless you this day.